relevant to this video hi my beautiful followers subscribers Ooh, you know what to do you here with your girl yes Ooh, okay yeah as you can see by the title we whipping up something nice today something simple something simple there's a bit of a dilemma so i didn't buy the icing sugar and who tried to go to the corner shop to get one and there was none so we are going to make our own icing sugar as well on top of that but i'm not telling you what i'm making but can we just give a moment for my hair y'all that thought because i wear wigs i ain't got no hair think again because your girl got hair okay your, your girl got hair and a lot of it but yes guys let's get into the video let me get my ingredients and then it's a ball do you know what i feel like this top is going to be stress because it's just yaga yaga i mean i would show you guys the full fit but you know i wish i could show you my slippers <laughs> my favorite animal is a panda by the way so y'all ever want to give me anything give me a panda okay yeah okay cool let's get into it yo guys I do have icing sugar. I was so panicked. I was like, this is not gonna come out without me having icing sugar, but God is on my side. You see, I told you guys, YouTube, I'm gonna be doing this. This is doing this. I'm just getting all the ingredients ready. So give me a quick fast moment though to like get everything ready for you guys, okay? I'm gonna like fast forward this, so. Right, so I have everything ready, even my electric and you know, whisk. Ever since I bought this, I feel like I haven't used it as much as I should have. Did I do that? Right? I haven't used it to its full potential, which is really sad. But we're gonna get it cracking. Um, I feel like I should just tell you guys what I'm making, but at the same time, like that defeats the whole element of surprise. I want you guys to see at the end what I'm making, you know? Let's chit chat, let's talk, let's just reminisce, you know what I'm saying? Um, <coughs> oh. Little update, your girl was ill last week. Please tell me why I've been smoking like a... Rewind. I've been coughing like a severe smoker for the past week. So if I'm coughing in and out, I'm sorry guys, I'm sorry. At this point, everyone in this house has got a cold. So it's okay. It's all right. I'm, I'm getting better. I look, I look, don't look sick. My soul. I don't know the words, but change up my gear. I change up my gear. I change up my gear. Back to business now. <laughs> I'm not playing too much. Back to business. Let's get back to baking, guys. Anyway, back to business. We've had a little dance break. I'm a little sweaty, but we're gonna start off with the butter. And um, I am going to use about a quarter of it. So let me take this stuff out. And then we're gonna use a quarter. And then I wanna make a big one, but not big enough. But whatever it is, y'all gonna find out. <laughs> oh gosh. I'm praying I do not get anything on this outfit because yay, too sheen, guys. I'll show you guys the full fit. I'll take some pictures and I'll show y'all. Maybe I'll attach it to the video. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll drive you to my Instagram. Maybe I won't. Y'all know what I'm doing. But yeah, I think that's, I don't know if that's enough butter or not, but we on vibes. Oh, oops. I'm really clumsy, guys, but enjoy. So let's have a little bit of chit chat. Let's have a little bit of chat chat, you know? Um, I don't know if I should do story time. Should I just tell you guys a juicy story? Should I? Should I? Oh, yeah, okay. So. <coughs> Juicy little story. I'll tell you guys how I met my boyfriend. Um, I know he kind of made his hand made an appearance in the other video, but 
you know, might as well. Nah, actually I won't tell that story. I'll tell you guys the story of when I first fainted. It's not cute, it's not cute. But anyway, it is what it is. There's one key thing I forgot to do, preheat the oven. I'm gonna check, is there anything in there? I'm gonna have to take that out. I'm gonna have to take that out. But story time, mm, I don't know what to tell you guys, you know, I'm just full of starting. I think the fainting story is much fun, but I can't remember if I told you guys that, but that doesn't matter, I can tell the game. Um, so this is when I like, I lived in Zim at the time and I went to preheat the oven 200. Um, I went to Petra and at the time, Sorry, before I was rudely interrupted. Um, so yes, I went to Petra Primary School. Those of you that have known me since then, hi, I'm still here. You still hate? No, I'm joking. I did not. Well, um, I did have haters by then, but we were kids. I had a. Who cares? Who cares? So yeah, I think it was um, CV's day. So those of you that went to school didn't know what CV's day is, so it's non-uniform day. And it's me being me, the fashionista. I had to pull up with something new every time, because I think it would happen like the week schools would close. So it'd be like once a term. And sorry, ad break guys. The baby's coming out. The baby's coming out. <laughs> Okay, so I think we need a little bit more butter. It's not bad, but yeah. So going back to the story, CD's day. So this day I was like to my mom, I was like, CD's day is next week, Wednesday. Like I need to look good. Like I can't, I can't be sick. And my mom understood the assignment. So, you know, at the time we didn't have time to like go to SA or whatever. And I was like, do you know what? Let's look around. I was not opposed to shopping at the flea market or like, I went everywhere or anywhere. Like as long as I like something, I'm going to wear it and I'm going to rock it. I don't care what y'all going to say. Y'all can say your shit, but at the end of the day, I still, <coughs> I still racked it. Let me wash my hands. Anyway, back to it. So y'all, that happened. And I was like, okay, we'll dedicate a Saturday. Let's go to town. Let's, you know, find an outfit. Let's get into it. And my mom was like, ooh. So we're now walking around town. We're now walking downtown. And we're going to a couple of shops. Obviously in Zim, you have to be cautious of where you put your stuff, where you put your phone. Like, don't be caught with your phone outside. Things like that. Like, don't put it in your back pocket because it's gonna be gone. It's gonna be gone. So that fiasco. Yeah, um, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> so me and my mom get to town this outfit is not for baking but i'm gonna care no holler anyway so me and my mom um where did i put the scooby thing oh god oh it's here so me and my mom go to town and obviously the phone thing so my mom had just gotten a new iPhone and yeah so my mom was out here picking up my dad's phone calls because my dad was down in the country all the time so she was picking up his phone calls and stuff and I was like mom like we're downtown bearing in mind we are downtown and um yeah there's a lot going on then we go into this one shop what's that place called it's something village something village those those are, yeah those are who stayed in Blau I know it it's like a flea market but it's like the bigger one like that's downtown it's close to like um what is it close to. Yeah, it's close to something downtown. I, don't, I can't remember. It's close to a garage. That's what I remember, but I don't remember much. Yeah, so my mom was like, oh, where was I again? Yo, my mind. Yeah, so <clears throat> we went into this one phone shop and my mom was like, oh, I need to pick up um, a new charger because mine is broke. So I was like, okay, cool. And then my dad called and then she, I think she put her phone like on the side of her bag, like outside pocket, which is obviously a big joke. Can't, can't be doing like this. Cannot be doing like this. So someone started following us. A, man, a weird man started following us so obviously i had seen him like i'd seen him in the shop and he was like eyeing us a little bit and i was like mm, weird but anyway and then um <coughs> so now we're at the flea market we're looking at like shirts so i think at the time i was into like um them oversized shirts things like that with leggings like it was 20 29 2000 29 2009 at the time so that was, those are like the fashions like leggings big teeth shirts things like that so i was like mom i want it and i'm gonna get it because i'm gonna be the coolest girl in primary school and i don't i don't give a fuck i do not give a fuck so we went and um got to the flea market and then again we see this man and i'm like so obviously me being me i found it weird like okay maybe he's out here shopping for a girl or whatever maybe we're just here in the same spot or whatever i don't know and then <coughs> Yeah, that was that. So next thing, my mom's phone rings. Like I said, obviously my dad's out of the country. So my phone rings. 
No, my mom's phone rings and it's not in her bag. It's not in her bag. So me and my mom are looking for each other. How? Be phoning, I be phoning, I be phoning, I phoning, I'm but yeah, being, yeah, he's or yeah, being. Then me being me, obviously I'm looking around and I see this guy. Like he, he literally went and then I saw him and then I kind of froze because I was like, but I saw him at the last minute after my mom had been asking me because I was busy looking at him. And then my mom was like, be phoning, be phoning, I'm yeah, but I was thinking that this guy literally sped off after he he literally sped off. And I was like. Oh. <laughs> then you go and doosh, fainted. I was completely out. Completely out. Guys, that's the only time I've ever fainted in my life. I think I was in shock. I was like, what just happened? Like, I didn't understand what had been going on. And I was just like, excuse me? Did this man just steal from my mom? And I just saw someone, I just saw a li live robbery. It's a robbery, robbery. Okay, this is not funny, but it's a robbery. <laughs> And I just blacked out, like, and with the flea market stuff, obviously everyone's like in their own little things. And these women were like, oh my gosh, you're blind now. She's fainted. <coughs> pour water on her, pour water on her, pour water on her. And I literally, like, fainting was the weirdest thing. I've never experienced anything like it. Like, it's like you slowly go black, 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 wow. And you're just gone. Like, completely and i was like wow and then when i finally got up i was like what just happened like i was so confused i was like what just happened did i just witness what i think i just witnessed and i was like yeah you just fainted after someone stole my phone shout out really like if that doesn't say i'm dramatic i don't know what does like i genuinely i genuinely don't know what does but your girl was shook like oh i think yeah i'm a bit of a softie me i easily get scared this is why i don't watch horror movies i don't i don't, I don't do that i don't mess with that i don't do that like it's not me on like i genuinely cannot i genuinely cannot so it really i feel like this is a bit little but i don't want to make like a big bag like it's just small but at the same time like, i don't want to make a small bitch but yeah we'll, we'll figure out when we get there um <coughs> but yeah ad break the mix has been done but i don't know if this is enough we gonna figure it out Yo, okay too much too much too much too much <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I think this is ready for the- Yeah, this is ready. Y'all guess what I'm making? <laughs> Yeah, so the story. Your girl faints. Yada 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 yada. These things happen. Um. Yeah, I just kind of just wait. Let me take this. Hold on. Sorry, guys. Yo. Yeah, I was just getting the tray. I'm gonna bake it in this one. Uh, I don't think this is enough. Should I add more mix, guys? Cause me, I don't know. I feel like I haven't done enough. I feel like I might add a bit more. <laughs> A bit more flour, a little bit more milk, somewhere along there. But yeah. So yeah, your girl really fainted because she saw robbery. And yeah, now the whole internet. That's a story I've lived with in my life. Like it's just yeah. But we move. Such is life, huh? Because yeah, that's so any of y'all trying to take me to a scary house, don't do that shit. I will not do well. I will not do well. I'll tell you that straight up. I'm not gonna do well in that. Because, yeah, if someone simple simple me seeing someone steal the phone, yeah, anything else, no. So I've added a bit more flour, sugar, and milk. So we can get curious to see what she'll have. This video is about to be long, but you have a fun baking with me. I should have like a little theme song, like bake with him. Or me. Okay, not in that tone, but if I get someone professional to do it for me, I'm sure it would be amazing. But yeah, guys, that's me. I feel like I ran through this whole story time, and I'm not even finished baking. But that's the story. Now I can tell you another story. So how me and my my precious precious my precious boyfriend met. Um, so we met through my cousin because she was getting engaged and it was her surprise party. And funny enough, Frank grew up with the groom who was obviously my brother not my literal brother but he is my brother like he's he's part of the firm now so I can't return him he's paid the water unfortunately so yeah like <laughs> when i told you all odds were against me going for this engagement like, I, there's no way i can't be there like i've been with these guys like, obviously not from the beginning well kind of beginning of their relationship i think they're already like a year or two in when i kind of like you know went back into communication with my kids and stuff so this is about to flop we so wrong this is about to play and yeah maybe a little bit so yeah um so yeah it was at their surprising game. when i tell you all odds were against me like i was saying all odds were against me going to this engagement yo i don't know who i upset or what had happened but i was like god i just want to be there i just want to show my love i just want to support my people i don't i don't want this bad energy that's happening like 
such a funan, funani. Like I was just so like perplexed, but we found God. I got there in the end and got there on time. Like I got to my hotel, checked in, got ready, and um, yeah. So did that, and then sorry, I got distracted, guys. <laughs> and then I went to the party, and there were like only like two big tables there. So obviously, I only know a few of Yolanda's friends. So oh, so really, yeah, you know what it is. But I only know a few of her friends. So it was a bit of a sticky situation. Um, um, and yeah, so when I got there, I was like, mm, I don't really know a lot of people, but I'm gonna sit anyway. All right, guys, the delivery man came, so I had to go get the door. But this is done. Time to put it in the oven. And then I'll finish the story. I know, I'm making you guys wait, because it's, it's a juicy one. It's a nice one. So the cake is ready. Let's take it out the oven. Yeah, it's hot in there. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. There. I hope it's fully cooked. I'm gonna have to check. I'm gonna put a little fork in it before I switch anything off. What fork's it? We gonna find out. Oh, clean, clean. Now we are making the icing. This is icing sugar. So, as I was saying, so with the story time. So obviously we got to the. I got to the hotel where the engagement was happening and. Um, <laughs> and yeah like so obviously the seating arrangement there wasn't really any seating arrangement i'll be honest it was just everyone just kind of just sat where they wanted so for me i was just like ah wherever i can sit i'll sit and there was two empty seats on and the groom's guys table so i was like Do you know what i'll just sit there like you know i'll just sit there and then a couple more minutes later this guy one who sits next to me was like oh is anyone sitting there and i was like um no no one's sitting there you want to sit down you're more than welcome to so i'm like okay cool you can sit next to me i don't mind whatever Ooh. and those guys started talking to me and i was like right here are you i don't know who you are i feel like guys it's probably doing about this right now yeah and i was like okay he seemed nice and then we would chat and he was like oh oh my guys i'm sure i like being the red and i was like yeah and i was like oh then we started vibing in the red and i was like oh no by done and then yeah like from there we just kind of just it was just literally kiki king everyone thought we came together but that wasn't the case <laughs> we literally just died when we got there and we just didn't leave each other alone and ever since then we've just never been apart so yeah like i, did, I don't know why I, I thought these story times were going to be longer maybe i'm not telling them with, with enough enthusiasm but yeah that was that i'm pouring the icing over the cake oh it looks good i ain't even gonna lie to y'all it looks good it looks so good so yeah guys i'm making cake if y'all fucked on or what kind of cake you might ask you just gonna have to figure that out well to be honest i think the icing is flopped on me i made it too soggy and i don't have any less so oops <laughs> i flopped on that one that is what it is edible nothing to cry about i'm just trying to spread it out so it at least like touches the top of the whole thing but it's not looking like it's going in my favor let me switch off this this is the finished product guys as you can see people already started digging in but it was so good like the only thing that did be dirty was the icing but the cake is scrambling yum shots i'ma say dick but as you can see obviously i made the classical school cake and yeah i just thought let me try something different chit chat a bit with me you know just switch it up a little but yes guys thank you so much for watching i hope you had an amazing time with me here please don't forget to like Follow, share, comment, you know the whole show back. Like, I told you I wasn't playing. Don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it. 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 Don't play with